so the show you do is amazing and, uh, and, and brave, and you've heard all this stuff before, but before people get into it. Oh, that, go ahead. It's okay. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. So. <laughs> Strong, honored. Uh, your story. I mean, because you're not, I mean, you're a kid, uh, uh, you know, who is now in the United States, and you live in the United States as a man, but you grew up in Iran. Right. And, and so most people don't really understand what's going on in Iran. You lived it. I mean, tell me what your experience is. I don't even know what the hell is going on in Iran. Yeah. Well, yeah, you know, I, um, I, I'm 38 years old, so um, I was six when we had the revolution. I, um, I remember everything. It was pretty horrible. It was more like a little civil war thing going on. And then immediately after the Shah left, uh, we had all this turmoil, you know, all these uh, internal... And opposition parties were killing Yeah, all yeah. Opposition, opposition parties killing each other. And then very quickly right after that, you, we had the Iran-Iraq war. Uh, eight years of just madness. It was like two drunk people in the bar just beating the crap out of each other. And uh, unfortunately, it was, it was a war that was sponsored by a lot of countries outside of Iran. So it was really hard on people. And then um, 85, uh, I was 12 years old. Uh, my mom's like, we got to get the hell out of here. And, and, and uh, we talked about this. This was when, around the same time where people started seeing Ayatollah Khomeini in the moon. Yeah. So my mom's like, dude, we got to get out of here. It's, like it's insane. Big, it's a big <laughs> night, right? Like everybody said one night. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah. It was crazy. I remember like I was doing my homework late as usual. It was like 9 or 8 or 9 p.m. And uh, people are like, hello, Akbar, hello, Akbar. I'm like, what the F is going on? You know, open up the window, look outside, there's nothing going on. And then my mom and my dad, everyone was like, what the hell, what, what's going on? And then uh, next day, in the media, they're like, we saw the Ayatollah, the Imam was in the moon. And I'm, my mom's like, all right, get the bags. <laughs> get, 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 get the hell out of here. You know, people are tripping without any acid. So, so that's, that was it. And, and, and you know, at, at 13, um, that was the cutoff age for, for guys to leave the country because they wanted to keep all the guys to die in a war. Mm -hmm. That was totally stupid. So we got out. I was very lucky and, you know, privileged because uh, I lived in France for a little while and uh, I moved to the United States with a green card in my hand.